<laughs> hey, what up, you guys? This is your girl, <laughs> Quadria Marie. I'm here doing my scholar talk tonight, as usual. Well, I don't want to say as usual, but um, I'm definitely going to be back as usual doing my my scholar talks. I'm actually in another room. Usually, as you guys know, I always have. My, my, my scholar talk in the background, but I actually have better service in this room than I do in the other room, so that's why I'm here. I still have one of my, my scholar media logos <laughs> in the back, so I'm still trying to represent. It's wrinkled because I never use it because I always use the bigger one, but I'm still here. I still got my scholar media going on, <laughs> but like I said, I'm just here tonight. What's up, you guys? Thank you guys for joining I'm just in this room instead because I have somehow I have better Wi-Fi in this room than I do in, in my office where I usually do my my scholar talks. What's up you guys? I hope everybody has or had you know a wonderful Monday and, and continuing to have a wonderful Monday. What's up? What's up? <laughs> What's up, Jeff? How you doing, my brother? <laughs> so I'm here as you guys see my I'm gonna keep moving this until I get it together i'm not used to doing it here so i'm trying to get myself right <laughs> what's up paul thank you guys again for joining this evening so i'm back with my scholar talk so i'm here reading you guys comments and whatnot i appreciate you guys what's up sienna what's up what's up <laughs> what's up Patty? thank you brother for joining so you guys see my topic for tonight again like i said i'm just in this room because the wi-fi service is better my other room, my office room, everything was getting all mixed up and I ain't all that technological and stuff. So I said, let me just go somewhere where I know where, you know, what I'm doing basically. So as you guys, like I said, you see my topic for tonight. Would you marry someone who, you know, whose occupation basically, you know, brought them more money or they're more wealthy, but they're never home? Or would you rather someone, you know, who made less money? And they're always there for you. That's something, you know, I've been hearing people talk quite um, a bit about lately. So I just wanted to know what you guys thought about it. I'll share what I think after I see some of you guys start to post about it. I just thought it was, you know, interesting, you know, topic because people tend to discuss occupation a bit amongst their friends. And, of course, now, you know, on Facebook, you have everybody has their own opinions. I feel like my head looks mad big on this screen right now. <laughs> And I have like a peanut, you know, size head, so I'm wondering why my head looks so big on, on here. But I hope everybody, like I said, had, you know, a great weekend, by the way, as well as a great Monday. I know most of us, you know, had to go to work today, and, you know, we were still just getting over, you know, that, that second or Easter. I don't even remember what happened when we had the first winter storm. My mom was like, quite dreary. We just had a storm before the last one. I'm like, I don't know. I'd be all over the place. Now we're actually preparing tonight for a third storm that's supposed to be coming. You know, I think I'm gonna just, let me do this. <laughs> it's better if I just hold it because I have my phone in this little container and it's like, I can't even see myself. I can't see y'all and it's important for me to see you guys on here. So again, I got my little, my little Scholar Media logo still trying to represent <laughs> in the back. Usually I'm in my office, but I had to switch up so I can, um, you know, see you guys and, and you guys can hear me a little clearer tonight. Thank you, Mom, for joining. I appreciate everybody that's coming on. What's up, Tom? What's up, Brett, Dante, everybody that's joining. I'm feeling very blessed. You know, I enjoyed myself this weekend. So, I'm, you know, I'm always trying to, you know, motivate others, you know, through myself, through my own actions. I know people, you know, are heavily influenced by others in their life and I think that's you know a good thing usually it's supposed to be you know a good thing the people around you should influence you to do better not the other way around but again hey what's up what's up <laughs> payday says I believe it's okay if they're never home as long as it's strictly business because the hard work will pay off in the, in the end for both yeah that's right true but what happens payday if the person is gone you know, six, you know, six out of seven days, you know, out the week for say, you know, three, four, six months on, would you, you know, would you be okay if you barely got, you know, got to see them if ever, if like the only way you had to communicate with them was like us right now, you know, video chats or on the phone, would you be okay with that? And that's, you know, to me, that's kind of, 
excuse me <laughs> to me that's kind of tough because it's just like i'm one of those people i like connections and i like having um you know the person there so it's just like i don't know i need to re i need to reword this uh this question i post tonight because it can be a mix of both you may want somebody you know who you know who doesn't have money or whatever and and you and you and you're and they're still away so it's like you really you know it really it's really hard especially when it comes to um you know relationships what do you want most what's you know that's what it is what's most important do you want the person to be there or you don't want them to be there or is it all just about you know money you know i hear that you know quite a bit where you know people will marry someone just based on the fact that they got tired of excuse me tired of dating you know poor broke whatever you want to call it you know people men and women alike and you know now they just decided i'm just going to marry somebody you know who has money who can help me out now instead of me trying to help bring up somebody else so instead of you know dating someone that they actually might have true you know genuine feelings for they'll they'll choose the person you know who has you know the most money even though that person you know may not be there for them the person they may not have no you know no connection or whatever you know with them they'll stick around with that person just because you know the person has money and they don't want to deal with being with you know like i said a broke or poor person anymore so it's it's really tough like i think that really comes you know based on you know life experiences you know a, a lot of us especially women <laughs> you know we'll we'll date someone based on how we actually feel about them you know when we're younger and then a lot of women you know unfortunately after being hurt you know so many times they'll just say you know and i've heard this a lot you know I, i'm quite you know quite gee i'm not i'm not dating you know for love anymore or marrying for love i'm just gonna marry for money so i hear a lot of that so a lot of these women nowadays you know they they may not really care if you're you're at home if you're out you know doing so long as you're bringing in the money What's up, um, D. Jamal? He says, what if they work a lot and come home late and leave early in the morning? Yeah, I, I guess that's acceptable too. But again, it really depends, you know, I think on the relationship. As, you know, he was mentioning, you know, earlier, it's, it really depends on, I think, you know, the two people. Because, like I said, I'm one of those people I get very attached. <laughs> and I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. And I might be the one in that position where I'm coming home late and, and leaving early in the morning. But I I know you know because you're you're doing that I'm sure. <laughs> he says it's tough, but I've been there and done that. She was a flight attendant. Oh wow, yeah. I was actually thinking of doing that myself years ago. You know the flight attendant thing, but I don't know. After this, I'm like I don't <laughs> I don't know. I thought about it, not just being up in the you know the the, the sky and you know all what that can mean, but just knowing that I may not be around you know a significant other that much. But, you know, that's, I mean, I'm sure they, you know, she got paid well and whatnot. <laughs> What's up? Thank you guys again for joining. You guys can feel, you know, feel free to share your opinion. I'm in my, my living room this time. Represent for Scholar Media because I have better Wi-Fi service here than I do in my office. But I feel really funny being in this room instead of the other room. But it's okay. I'm still, I'm still talking to you guys. I'm still getting the word out. So, again, <clears throat> excuse me, you guys can see. You know what question I have posed tonight? You know, would you marry someone, you know, with with more money or more wealth who's never home, or would you rather someone with less money or less wealth, who you know who's always there, who's always home? And I think people have a varied amount of opinions on what you know they think is best. You know, for me, it's probably really a mix <laughs> of both. You know, y'all know I ain't right though. <laughs> Fries Aaron, what's up? Thank you. I haven't seen you in here a long time. I haven't seen you online in a while. But he says, love is love. I'll take one night. Lord have mercy. I knew. <laughs> I figured he would say something like that. DJ Jamal says, one question, do they have kids? See, it's hard It's hard for me to go into that too. Obviously, I don't have any children. But um, that would be a whole different, I think, element because, you know, you still have people out here who, you know, you still have to work whether you have kids or not. So regardless of what your occupation is, whether you're, you know, rich or poor, you still have to go out. But for me personally, this is one of my missions. I figured, you know, whenever I do have children, I do want to be able to be home. I don't necessarily want to always be out, you know, working. What's up, Kathy? Thank you for joining. I wouldn't want to always be out, you know, in the street, you know, having to make money. I want to figure out a way now 
where I'm able to make money and still still be at home. So that's that's for me. But I know, you know, everybody's, you know, situation is different and stuff. Jamal says that they have kids. I would say no. Yeah, I, I wouldn't think so either. But again, like I said, it really depends on, you know, two people. Do, you know, do both people have to work? You know, a lot of times that situation too, you know, obviously comes up where you have a couple where they're both out, you know, making all this, you know, good money, yet they're never home for anybody. They're not home for each other and they're not home for their kids. So that's really tough, you know, situation as well because... You know, it's like how how important is uh, is making money? You know, is is money the most important priority? You know, obviously it shouldn't be, but the situations and things that people are in now, if you don't have no money, you can't really do much. <laughs> you just your ass is just sitting. You know, especially if you have children. Obviously, you know, you have more than you know yourself to um to worry about, and that's 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 really um, like I said, tough for people because now you have a whole different you know, person to worry about it can't be, you know, all, you know, it can't be all about you. And that's something that I'm going to have to deal with if I ever, you know, be blessed, you know, to be a mother. Because right now my priority is just on trying to make money. You know, right now I'm single so I can, you know, I can go out, you know, be out all night and then come, you know, come home and then leave early because it's just me. It's just me and my cat. As long as my cat, you know, got her food and water and stuff. It's okay, so I can come in and out as much as I want. But, you know, obviously if I have a, a spouse here and a child, I may not be able to do all these things that, you know, I'm able to do now or that I'm planning to do in the near future. So I would have to think about that, you know, myself. And like I said, I wouldn't personally want to have to go and, and leave and be out, you know, all different, you know, hours, more than a typical, you know, eight-hour workday. I wouldn't want to no matter how much, you know, money that I'm getting. So I don't know how a lot of, you know, these celebrities, you know, that, you know, with money and fame, how they're able to do that. You know, they're, you know, they're okay with just leaving the child, you know, with the nanny for, you know, 15, 16 hours a day. I don't know if I can do that personally. So <laughs> Price Aaron, let me see. I don't want to miss what you got. He says, honestly, long-term goals would have to be um, reached both instances. Home, I'm guessing dope raised family on the road i hope we are retiring together at a young age yeah i i agree with you as well it's really tough to say until you're actually in the situation i know what's up cynthia jamal says i married for love and fun and see that's that's what you're supposed to do but it's just like not everybody is is blessed to you know to have that but that's what i would want as well you know and not and not have it be based on love or money and I think that's where a lot of people are heading now. Because like I said, I hear a lot of people say, especially, you know, of course, women. I hear a lot of, you know, women say that, that they have to marry, you know, for money now. So in their minds, they're actually not even concerned as much if, you know, their husband is at home. Their concern is just to make sure that, you know, the bills is paid and, you know, the kids. And the, unfortunately, you have some women who... Or, you know, want to make sure that they got the newest, you know, shoes and purses. as well. <laughs> I'm not one of those people. I'm one of those women. I like, okay, let's make sure, you know, the house and everything and the kids and all that is taken care of. And then if we have a little extra, then, yeah, we can do other things. But I don't be shopping like that. I like to put my money away. When I get a little something, even $5, I like to put my little money to the side for emergency funds and whatnot. <laughs> so for me personally, I, I don't know if I could just marry, you know, just solely for money. And like I said, for me, I like having, you know, the person there. Jamal said, I'm poor but not struggling. The best thing is teamwork. We get it done. Yeah, I know y'all do. <laughs> I always see all those pictures of you guys. And I'm like, oh, you know, they really do have it, you know, together. But I think that's important too, you know, not to necessarily, excuse me, you know, be poor. I think everybody is going to do some type of, you know, struggle, you know, nowadays. And as you said, teamwork. What's up, cuz? What's up, Tiana? Like you said, teamwork is really important. And I think that's what people are lacking, you know, whether whether you're married or not, just in relationship. Everybody, excuse me, not everybody. My throat getting dry. I got my, <laughs> I got my little war. I'm supposed to be drinking, but I'm busy talking to you guys. But you have couples now where you have one person that's doing everything and that's that's that shouldn't be the case it should be a situation where both people you know are working together so it's not so much pressure you know just on one person you know um financially to do everything because when that happens you know the person who's um taking on all the financial burden they're 
they're not going to want to continue doing that for so long. Eventually, they're going to be like, you know what? I need to to move on to somebody that has something that that can help. Like I said earlier, lift me up, help hold me up. You know, and that's what makes people. Like I said, life experiences can make people, you know, change their mind. Somebody could be in love with somebody who doesn't have money, but how long can you, you know, stick around with somebody who's not trying to, you know, do more, who's not trying to, to help, who's not being part of, you know, the team. And that's what I think is really important. One person can't be doing, you know, everything, you know, one, even, you know, even if you're making, you know, a lot of money. I don't think the one wealthy person in a relationship is always going to want to be the person taking care of everything. I don't care if it's a man, woman, I don't, transgender or whatever. <laughs> I don't think one person wants to take on that responsibility. And I don't, I wouldn't want to give somebody just that 100%, you know, responsibility of being in, you know, control of the money. Because people really do, you know, take advantage of that if they feel like they control, you know, all of, you know, the finances in, in the household. I don't think that's ever, you know, a good situation. What's up, cuz, Tiana? She says, I'm just tuning in. But if we're talking about our age bracket, both parties should be working. We are still young. What are what are your ambitions? Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah, I, I definitely agree. Especially, like you said, in our age bracket in your 30s. Um, well, I was about to say 22. But, <laughs> but, you know, in our age bracket, you know, the 30s, 30s era, you definitely um, do both need um, to be working. But some people, even, you know, in our age bracket, I hear people saying, you know, he, he, you know, he has to have money now. I can't be with somebody who, who doesn't make, you know, 80K or whatever or going, you know, on up. Which is, you know, yes, you do have, you know, people obviously, you know, 30 years old who are making good money. But is that, you know, necessarily a reason to eliminate somebody who's only making, you know, say 40K a year? Do you just eliminate that person as a potential mate? Just because they're not making 80, 90, 100K a year, something that you feel is better, you know, suited for you and, you know, in a relationship. D. Jamal says, okay, here's a good one. You meet a man who makes more than enough money and works in D.C. He says, I want you to both be here and there. <laughs> you know, it's odd because I'm, I'm kind of dealing with stuff like that now myself. And I'm trying to still think what, you know, what I'm going to do if I'm, if I'm ever forced to, I don't want to say forced, but... If I ever get into that situation, you know, myself. So, you know, I'm one of those people that if I, wherever I move to, I'll probably find some type of way or I will find some type of way to make it, still find some type of way to make money, still find some type of way, you know, to do media and, and writing, especially in D.C. So, <laughs> D.C., you know, is a political, uh, you know, city. So, I definitely have, you know, a lot of coverage and ways to make money. That actually might be smart move someday but um <laughs> it's really expensive down in dc you know i thought jersey was high but dc man be having some some crazy amounts of a rent you know that you got to put up <laughs> tiana says eventually whoever's carrying the load will eventually get yeah that's that's what i was saying earlier because you don't want it to be where it's just one person that's feeling like they're carrying everything because that's when things I think start to um to go downhill. You don't want to be the person who's always, you know, always paying and then you start to feel like the, you're being taken advantage of. You actually could be in a loving relationship but if you're always the one paying and I've seen this happen with people. They start to feel like the other person is not putting in their effort so the person is taking advantage of them and that's when, you know, things, you know, start to to happen and you know, of course, lack of communication, all those things that happen and not talking to each other about the situation. And one person's just holding in all these emotions, the fact that they're taking care of everything and they feel like they're not getting help from the other person. And they take it out. They take it out on that person or they tell everybody else and accept that one person. And then next thing you know, you know, people are, you know, divorcing over something silly. <laughs> What's up, Sierra? Thank you, honey. Thank you for saying that. I got to get them accessories too, trying to get like you. <laughs> I still got your link, by the way, so I am thinking about it. <laughs> Tiana says, to answer Jamal, if I'm in love, I will travel to both places. I don't believe in dropping my life for a man because he makes great money. Yeah, I agree with that. That is definitely true. And I, I would do that as well, you know, travel between, you know, both places. But I feel like if there's better opportunity, you know, where he is, then... 
why not take you know the chance and and go with him especially if he's doing well down there if there's no need for me to be going you know back and forth you know between jersey and dc or you know wherever i might just you know take my little leap of um, excuse me leap of faith and just head out you know where he is uh sierra said we have to talk again about the extra stream opportunity i was talking to you about sis <laughs> Yeah, you always thinking of some ways, you're just like me, always thinking of ways to make more money. And that's kind of what we're talking about here. You know, you, you almost in a way you want somebody who's going to, you know, be ambitious as well so that you're not in this type of situation where you're deciding, do you want to be with somebody who has more and, and or, or less? You know, you really want to be, at least for me, with somebody who's at least putting some effort in. You don't necessarily have to be rich, but at least obviously put some type of effort in you know, to have more so that we can have, you know, more together. And also, you know, not just, you know, the money, you know, the money making part of it, but thinking of ways that we can do it together. And, you know, <laughs> I know that might be asking a lot, you know, wanting to, you know, make all this money and still have time, you know, for each other. But I still think making the time for each other is very important, no matter, you know, how ambitious you are, how much money you want to make. I think that's still important that you guys actually do things together and that's what i always said i want and i know sierra you know it's like that with you and your husband trying to to do what you guys want to do but doing it you know together as a team and i think that's important sierra says we should be even out so that the person doesn't burn out it's important to care about the person's well-being in that way as well yeah i definitely you know agree with that it's definitely you know a real balance and i like i said i've heard stories of people getting burnt out because they were the ones taking on you know, 100% of, you know, the household finances, you know, from, you know, from the bills to just so many different things. And, and, you know, when I hear that, I'm like, wow, you know, why is the other person not doing their share? And of course, you know, you're only hearing one side, you know, of the story. You're not hearing necessarily what's going on from the other person's perspective. But I, I definitely understand how that is if you feel like you're always you know paying you're always even even on a dating level not necessarily married but if you're going out on dates and you're always paying i don't necessarily think that's fair either you know i mean i love to go out to eat and i'll be taking <laughs> i love to be taking out to eat and whatnot but i'm not gonna sit there you know after you know 10 dates go by and i'm sitting up there not paying nothing like to me that don't make no sense like i wouldn't even want to be with with me if i was the type of woman to do that just every time we go out I'm just, I'm never offering or anything. And it's like, I said, 10 dates and I'm still, you know, holding, <laughs> holding my pockets and all that stuff. I, you know, I don't, I don't like that. I don't, and I don't like the idea of it being where a man is always, you know, responsible for everything. Even, I feel like even if he's making more money, I still wouldn't want him to feel like, you know, everything, the burden is on him. Even if he were to be like, this is what I want to do. I don't want you paying for anything. Knowing how I am, my stubbornness, I'll still be like, well, at least let me do something. Let me just put $5 in something. <laughs> I still got to feel like, you know, I'm contributing to the relationship and I don't want him to feel like it's just so much on him. Whereas if something happens, you know, he's unfortunately, you know, not able to work or make money. I don't want him worrying that, oh, you know, she, she, she can't do it, you know, for us. She can't help. I have to be able to, you know, help out, you know, as well. Um, Jamal says, what if you married to him and he is in politics? Some women can accept like that. Nah, I ain't doing that. I'm not. <laughs> for me, I can't deal with that. I got to deal with, you know, regular, you know, regular schmo Joe out here. I can't deal with no politician and I like that. Tiana says, if we're married and he's in politics, I'm going to support him. See, I don't, I don't know if I can do that because it's, it's that, you know, that political life. That is something else. I know we're all thinking of, you know, Michelle, you know, and Obama, but. I don't know. I feel like they just, you know, one, you know, lucky <laughs> example of, of that. I don't know if I can personally do that myself, though. To be honest, is there are women really like that, though, the sad truth. Yeah, and I, I have to figure out, you know, what I'm doing myself. But right now, I'm just going, you know, with the flow. I'm not necessarily looking at somebody and being like, well, how much you got? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? That just, I feel like that just blocks out so many other things if you, I'm just focused on money. But, you know, at the same time, I, I would, excuse me, I would be more concerned if, you know, he, you know, would be available if we'll actually have time to talk to each other. I think that's so important, you know, with two people, whether you're married or not, engaged or dating, that you actually communicate with each other. You know, unfortunately, you may not be able to, you know, be in, in person, you know, 24-7 because you both have 
you know, things, you both have lives and, and, and goals and dreams that you're pursuing. So you may have to talk to them like I'm talking to you guys. This might be your only way, you know, once in a while, you know, video chats and, and texting and, and on the phone and all that stuff. And if that's what you have to do until you see each other again, then I feel like that's what y'all need to do as long as y'all still communicating. But I want those people that I like to hold somebody. I like to, you know, all that. Y'all know how. <laughs> Yeah, I know how I am. I just like that affectionate part of it. For me, I couldn't just constantly, you know, talk to, to someone I love this way. Even and out even outside of of you know relationship, just anyone, friends and and family. I like to actually you know hug people and all that stuff. <laughs> Jamal, so let me say this: when I was single, the biggest fear I had. Was, is she interested in me or the money? Yeah, I hear, you know, I hear quite a you know bit of men who say that, especially, you know, obviously famous, you know, celebrity men, you know, when they, you know, when they start to make more money and it's obvious that they're making more money. That is, you know, a, a real fear. And it's actually a fear amongst women as well. Is this person coming around me because, you know, he sees that I have, the, you know, these things. Um, is he trying to, to get in? Is he trying to get, you know, some type of connection, you know, especially like with me being entertainment? Is he trying to get some type of music connection or a rap deal, you know, or something? <laughs> you, you know, you never know, even though I, I don't really think I've come across that yet. But I feel like as, as, if I, you know, as I grow as well, that's going to be a fear for me. Thank you guys for joining. Hey, Javon, I'm going to let you come in. Hold on. <laughs> now, where you at? <laughs> Mr. Javon Jones, Dr. Love Jones, I should say. Here he is. What's up? What's, hey, up? <laughs> what's up? It says Javon Jones is live now as a guest. So what's up? What's up? Oh, I, I up? see the, the wonderful topic. You always like trying to break the internet with of these course. topics. <laughs> I know. That's how I do. That's that that's that I'm... that's that scholar of talk right there, scholar media. I see, I see. <laughs> now. Tiana says, hey. <laughs> what's up, Tiana? What's up? What's up? Uh, I, this is a definitely. All right, go ahead. I know you got something to say, so. All right. As far as, I feel as though it's this. You know, mm -hmm. we all, we all embarking on the path of um, a prosperity of entrepreneurship and, you know, mm -hmm. and building wealth. So right. I think it's a natural fear for anybody to have of any um, financial substance is to be in a situation mm -hmm. where they want to get somebody that just want to be genuine because, you know, yeah. when you're, wealth makes you attractive. I don't care if you are not physically attractive. Not right. once, once you have wealth, it makes you very attractive. Yeah. So it's important yeah. to know that once you have that attraction, mm -hmm. Who's genuine and who's not? So that's a real thing. Right. But for me, I always believe that that's where it's important to be more in tune when you become more yeah. spiritual, is to be right. spiritually yeah. in tune and know and ha and recognize through your spirit, through mm -hmm. th through your third eye, what's real, yeah. you know, what's n and what's not, you know. So as mm -hmm. long as you understand what's real and you know you have a sense of genuine nature, then you want to know. By far, okay, don't want to spend this time with this person. It's not. And it's a scary thing because mm -hmm. spirituality is something that we don't see on a daily basis. So we don't recognize through mm -hmm. spirituality how we can see. And if you, and it's, you know, for me personally, and I know this for myself, for me to be mm -hmm. in a relationship, in a monogamous relationship, um, it's mm -hmm. for me to, I have to be attracted what up, to you. Mentally. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that's my, my co-worker coming on saying she missed me. I miss you too. <laughs> nice, nice. Like Go for ahead, me, <laughs> I'm sorry. No, for me, for me to be in a relationship, I had to be mentally, physically, and spiritually connected to that person. If you yeah, attracted and you and you're you're attracted to that person physically and, and mentally, that's cool. But if there's no spiritual right. connection, then there's something off, and it's never you never your spirit gonna want to wander in different places. So I feel like as long as you yeah. stay well, and you have well, you're gonna always be attractive. But you just gotta yeah. be more in tune with yourself spiritually, so you can know who's real and who who just wants you for the money. But for you, would you prefer that somebody that has more money? But they're never, they're never around. They're always, you know, they're always working. They're always away. Or would you prefer that person who 
doesn't have as much, but they're there, they're home. They're, you know, they're home to, you know, to cook for you and you're able to see them and do what you want to do, you know. <laughs> that together with when you them. post questions like that is why I'm what? not against, is why I'm not against polygamy. <laughs> Oh Lord, I have to see. I gotta see that now. Because why can't you have both? <laughs> well, what do you? You, you can have both. I mean, you, you can you can really have both, but the household. Why not get both? Yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. But, um, but it don't no. work. It don't really work like that, though. I mean, it can, but it's like, how many people <laughs> can you meet that's actually gonna be like, okay, let's have a polygamous, you know, relationship? You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Yeah. But for me, no. Yeah. But to, to answer the question, it always gotta be mm -hmm. somebody. To me, if you're home, you can work from home, you know, so. Right, that's what I was saying earlier, yeah. You can work from home, so I don't need someone to always be busy. And besides, if I'm building mm -hmm. a family, if I'm building, mm -hmm. want to build a family, I'd rather my, my wife to be home to help raise yeah. our kids. Because if you're busy and always away, who's, you're the nurturer of that household. Right. How could you really help? Raise. Um, raise <laughs> somebody kids. commented about somebody commented about what you said. <laughs> <laughs> she said I was feeling what he was saying until the p word. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm partially trolling. Don't worry. <laughs> they say you don't understand. That's what I'm trying to tell him. You know, no, I understand no, he's trying I, to have the best of both worlds, but no, nah, no, but but seriously though, for me, I would have. To, I would have to say I would personally want a woman home because, you know, yeah. I, I look at the fa raising the family aspect, you know, mm -hmm. is the reason why men are the head of the household, not to get traditional. And the reason mm -hmm. why is because, you know, it's not to say that, you know, I always say that men are the head of the household, but there's no home without that woman. And if that woman, sure if that woman is not home, <laughs> Then how can yes, you expect a new to day. That's right. a business? So as a new day, yeah, yeah I, you know, and I think it's important that you know how. To me, you should have to balance someone that's out there getting it, but know how to come home and take care of home. So it should be both. Right. But if I had to choose personally, I would mm -hmm. lean to the one that's home because I could always help yeah. set her up with a home base way to make money from home. Yes, so that's yeah. that's my choice and that's what i was saying earlier i said if i'm ever blessed you know to have a child i would like to be home you know and an online business would be ideal for me where we can both still be making money and i get to still be home that's would be like the perfect ideal world for me instead of me having to be out 12 hours whatever how many hours a day and coming home late and leaving early that's not something i want to oh, do i want to oh, actually let me clear up something here. Yeah. Tiana, Tiana, don't get me wrong. I don't think, I don't, I don't think, I think you can do both. You can run a business and still be home for babies. I don't think there's a, um, yeah. a idea if you have to be one or the other. I think the greatest mm -hmm. quality of a woman is that her ability to play multiple roles and be able to do multiple things at one time and not label themselves right. as just being a homebody or a work body. So mm -hmm. I, I agree with you. I, I truly agree because at the end of the day, you know, yeah. It's all about doing what's best for the household. And sometimes we're bringing in that household. That's the best yeah. thing. A lot of times we don't really have that. We, ch we try to do this either or, this this either or. And it's not, it, or, there's a duality in the situation where yeah. you could be a, a, a straight, strong businesswoman, but yet stay home mm -hmm. and take care of business at home, you know. And when people like to say that, even to me, they're like, oh, you're not going to be able to do both. You're going to have to stop your career. And I'm just like, no, I don't. I can still <laughs> find some way. But I hear people tell me that even friends of mine have said that to me. Well, you want to do all these things, but you also want to be a mother and wife. You're going to have to stop what you're doing. And I'm just like, I don't feel like I should. Like, I don't think I need to stop one just to have the other. You know, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that. And like, it's forever, only, I get it's, taken honestly, a break, people that... People that say that is only people that thinks mm -hmm. um thinks very binary in a sense that yeah. it has to be this or that. I think you can yeah. incorporate both because at the end of the right. day, if so. we're in a relationship, me and you in a relationship, it's my job to make mm -hmm. sure you're able to partner up where you can still be home but yet still do the business and still right. do yeah. what you gotta do your career wise. It don't have to be. Mm -hmm. Entertainers do it all the time. You think yeah, you know, they still do. 
J- uh, Jada Pinkett Smith was was in movies yeah. while she was raising a family, but she had, there's right. a balance. As long as you a can balance. deal yeah. with that balance, that's what's more important. It's not to sit here and tell. Yeah. It's not my job to tell you, and 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 it's not it's not. <clears throat> It's not for me to tell you which one. But yeah, that's just that John. Balance, John. That's the best <laughs> hey, John. Yes, that's me. <laughs> Let me see. Tiana wrote something too. She says, "I want to be out in the world. I don't want to work from home. That's just me. And I do want to be a mom. That's why I'm building my business to where it can run itself, and I can have that home time. But I'm getting back to it. Yeah, I'm, I definitely see where she's coming from too." respect respect that i re- yeah. definitely i definitely understand and she's definitely from. doing you know her thing too so i know it's true based on what i've seen oh, her I, doing oh, What's i definitely on? know <laughs> so it's definitely possible because she's doing it and so i know and other women before us have done like you said jada they've done it where you know making movies and still rearing the children at home so it's possible so people just like you said are binary just think one or the other you should be What's able to good? do everything John, that you want to do. <laughs> John what? being nosy looking. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's my that's that's John that's needs my to share guy. what he feels too about the topic. No. Oh, we <laughs> definitely could use an OG perspective on this. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely true. use an OG. <laughs> but um it's but the only thing I can say is this is that we just everybody mm-hmm. can't, you know, yeah. one thing is we are individuals we are spiritual beings right. having a human experience so this idea mm-hmm. of oh you have to do this is never something i feel right. anybody should have to deal with because who's there's people yeah. that there's multi-millionaires that are making money from home multi-millionaires making money yeah that's from that's home. a good point too yeah. you know not so either or like, yep. so it's so we gotta so you know yeah. even when i said what i said in the beginning it's not to say you know of course, as a man, there's reasons as a man why I say I want my woman home, but it's not to say I want her just home. Yeah. Like, you only have to be home and serve me. Nah, it's not that. Just For home, me, it's, yeah. It's more about um, it's more about yeah, finding I that. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta be able to work too. Everything is a Yeah. Yeah, so we, and I know me. Mm-hmm. Like, I attract like go-getters for women, like, like women that just like that just complacent with just staying home and raising family. I don't track that type. I, I my intent I track women that are entrepreneurs that's out there again. They all oh, they Lord, have hey. a good career and they <laughs> out there. <laughs> yeah, it was good. <laughs> Man. Mm-hmm. But damn, this is this is it. Definitely interesting topic. Yeah. You always bringing these, <laughs> these, 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 these deep topics. I mean, John hiding now. <laughs> I'm retired. I, I hear you. That's that sounds like. The- And that's what you're supposed to be doing anyway, you know, being able to travel and do things first. Um, David says, I like an independent woman, just saying. Of course, of course, it's definitely a positive having an independent woman. <laughs> I'm definitely a prime example of that. <laughs> Deanna says, because you're a go-getter, so you stay in those crowds with like-minded women. Yeah, that is true about Javon. Oh, sure. Obviously, me and him oh, are sure. friends, so... <laughs> So he definitely stays, you know, around women who do that, who are go-getters and stuff. What's up, cuz? Thank you, guys. What's up, Gio? Your boy Gio's on here. <laughs> Peace, brother and What's sister. Good, That's right, What's up, Gio? What's up? Yeah, I want to hear good, his opinion brother? on here, too, Peace. on this topic. <laughs> 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 yes, man. It's just, you know, like, I really think um, it all depends on, you know, every every household. That's what I really think. Every household is different. You know, money or not, and you know, everybody does things differently. But like I said earlier, you don't want one person being responsible for everything. And I think that's where issues come, where one person is paying for everything and the other person is not. And that's where people say, oh, you know, I'm going to marry somebody who has money too. You know. <laughs> <laughs> 
Lord have mercy. <laughs> nah, I definitely gotta hear this. I might have to go get some popcorn yeah. and hear this. But nah, but um, nah, nah. But the thing is, but nah, but, but like on, you said, it should be a mix. The, it should be a mix of both. You should be able to have what you want, have both. You know, make money yeah, and like, and like to me, you in there. to me, you have this life to live. This idea yeah. that you have to play this role, it's like to me, I always find like yo. You have people that literally, that, you know, that can mm -hmm. do multiple things. And I always say, this is Women's Month, right, so I'm going to talk about women a lot. It's always and I Women's think the Month. Of a woman, uh, because, uh, yeah. it's, just think like y'all want to be happy. Like, nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> joking. But, um... Well, please, uh, yeah. <laughs> please, but, we just, we just nah, talking but, about... Would you marry somebody, you know, with wealth and, you know, they're always out? Or would you marry somebody with less money who's always, you know, home? So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about all different things now. <laughs> but even, and then the idea of a, one person had to pay all the bills I always feel it's just right, yeah. broke financial. It's a broke financial strategy because. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not even reading that. Go ahead, Javon. You can read that if you want. You know we were. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even reading that. You know we were. Let me read that. Several queens and health queens to the husband kings. Yeah. I do agree they're supposed to be helpmates. I, I do think that. And, oh, yeah. I agree you know, with that part. It's, it's the first part I don't, but. You no, know, subservient. See, yeah. here's what I learned about. Here's what I learned about language and certain things. Subservient. It's not a bad thing mm -hmm. because I always feel that the person serve the servant is always more powerful than the person they serve mm -hmm. because the servant always have access to everything they master quote unquote have now unless you're talking about in the slavery terms where you're chattel that's different mm -hmm. that's totally different but if I if I decide yeah. to hire uh, someone in my household to be my servant he had access to every almost everything I have access to but. <laughs> But you know yeah, I that's know. I so I I understand that point of view. It's just that me personally, <laughs> I, I I would never really I would really never really like have that feeling towards <laughs> it because you know it's racist. And I was and then and for me, I was raised by a lot of strong mm -hmm. women from mothers and sisters, mm -hmm. you know, cousins. Yeah. I was raised by yeah. a lot of strong women. My grandmother of ninety four age, I was, mm -hmm. I was always raised by that. So it's for me. Right, it's, yeah. I don't. I, I so I can't attract a weak or a meek woman. I can't. Like it, you would not last <laughs> with me because well, I'm. Well, that's what happened with me. I was with a weak, weak person, and I couldn't last with that. <laughs> So I know it's the same for me. I can't deal with with weakness no more. So I just pray that that's over. You know, I can't do that no more. My cousin said, "I'd rather be I'd rather be single and get money alone." <laughs> yeah, well, someday you gotta have somebody. <laughs> well, okay, I'm reading what Gio said. A woman should be in a domain of being home, taking care of the children by homeschooling and educating them by our people. That I don't disagree with at all. I find like with the education, we should have a way where we educate our own kids, you know. So that's one of the many yeah, sacrifices when you have to go get this is that now you have your kids being mm -hmm. educated by someone who does not have their best, well, especially if you're black. So that is a real, that is a solid point. I cannot disrespect. Mm -hmm. dis Yo, give me. Well, give no, a beer I do. Too, I man. do I can, agree I about the educating our people, but what does he mean by? What does he mean by her domain should be at home? Because if she's a working woman, is she supposed to just be at home and have kids? Because I know for me, that's not going to work. I can't just be home and and have kids and take care of the but house and not honestly. Eat. A working person. Honestly, is that's I not. But the truth is, that's not every woman's role. And if that's not your role, then you shouldn't submit yourself to that. If that's not for you, that's not. Like for me, I know what's my role as a man of any household. But not everybody has that same role. Everybody views their role the same way. You understand? Me, no matter if I'm, I'm, a, I'm not the kind of person. 
you know, and mm -hmm. subservient doesn't mean weak. Society has placed negative connotation on it. Unfortunately, a lot of women think being subservient is negative. I 100%. And that's, mm -hmm. that's what I was trying to Subservient is not a weak thing. Because the reason why is because the etymology of sub in the, in the language means under. When we think of sub, sub servant we think of someone under yeah but the truth is the legs on the uh, the legs on a right, table yeah. is much stronger than the table because even though it's under the table it's holding that table up that leg is weak that table goes down so the truth is yeah, something that's, that's under is actually much stronger than something that's on the surface so i definitely do agree with that 110 percent. it's just that most people and i was a victim mm -hmm. of this too because i used to think sub under and i never liked that but the truth is servitude is one thing that we mm -hmm. Have and we are born to be as servants, serving many forms of the platforms. And then for a woman to be a sub, uh, a servant is not a bad thing. It's just that mm -hmm. at the end of the day, you yeah, got to do what's comfortable women. within your vibration. Right, right. That's the end of the day. If that's not within your mm -hmm. vibration, then that's what it is. Mm -hmm. And I do agree with what he said. Mm hmm. I just wouldn't want the man to feel like my, I'm responsible for just being home and not going out to work because when he meets me, you know, I'm ambitious. I like to go out and do things. So I couldn't just be with somebody who feels like my role is just to be home and that's it. Like I couldn't just do that. And that's for me. I have to be out and, and you know, you know how I am. I can't just stay and home and, and, honestly, just have, and have kids should've... and not pursue and for me personally, how I view things, as I feel like not every not every man is going to have the same role as a man. Like, there's no one role for yeah, a man true. or for yeah. a woman. You know, you're going to have some men mm -hmm. that is not going to be that whole dominating men that just going to come in and bring in right, the check, true. place it on the table and say, a woman, take care of the bills. Like, I not will. every man sees that. I mean, <laughs> there's some men. No, I don't mean that. <laughs> Yes. Uh, go ahead. I'm sorry. I was just thinking. Yeah. Would you? <laughs> I, I I didn't even catch what you caught. That's why you did that. I'm wondering, like, where that from? <laughs> yeah, the idea of a man coming in with that check, that thousand dollars, and say, "Do what you want." <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. I, I like what that passage said, though. Where he said, you know. Put this on. I forgot how that go. But anyways, that's a whole nother <laughs> topic. But the truth so Gio, is, Gio has... a woman wife can mm -hmm. have a business that she tends to. However, woman main folks should be always to her husband and family. Too many of our women today put career over family, and that's one of why alpha black men don't want them. That's why <laughs> I want. I want to. Oh, no, I'm not alpha men want me. I don't well, know what he's talking I want about. <laughs> no. <laughs> I have alpha men who are attracted to what me because I'm a career. Well, I'm going to tell people this. Me. I'm going to say so this. So what the hell? I would, I, why would I? And I'm attracted to alpha men. So. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to say this. I tell people this. One thing about Gio is that he's going to give it to you straight without any chasing. If you take out your emotions and just read what he's saying, he makes mm -hmm. a fair point where you can understand why. Of course, you're going to disagree because you no, don't, don't have that same vibration. <laughs> I don't but have that vibration. Work. I'm a working woman. So I would have to be with somebody mm -hmm. who's okay with me being a woman who wants to be a wife, mother, and a career woman. Because it's, it's always going to be all three with me. So I know with me personally, I tell people this. Mm -hmm. I am a, I'm a passive-aggressive man. So I can operate in the alpha or in the beta role. Like, that's me. So it doesn't, you know, I'm not your typical alpha male. Now, I can be that alpha male, and I can be that secondary, you know, support figure. It doesn't matter to me because, one, I know what my purpose is in life. So I don't, I don't, I, so I know, so I know what kind of woman I need to deal with personally for me. But I know if you're an alpha male, an alpha man and an alpha female will clash. That's not going to, you know, somebody, you know, two alphas, somebody got to know how to be the beta at times with two alphas. And yeah. if you're dealing with two strong individuals, yeah, that's not going to work. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not going to well, work. That's what, that's what I, for me personally, I would prefer a man who actually 
it's about his business. Because I dealt with somebody who wasn't, and it just was a turnoff. He wasn't an alpha male. So for me, it was just like, okay, I can't, <laughs> I can't be with somebody who doesn't have at least some of that in them. You got to have some of that. So yeah. it's, it's, it's just not going to work if you're not somebody who's, not, who's out trying to do what you need to do. Or David I says, I don't mind. Hold on, I'm just reading what David wrote. He said, I don't mind if the woman don't have as much, but if we're in a relationship, we will help each other out. It's all good. I can't see you that comment. I agree with you. You can't see none of it? I can't see that comment. The last comment I see. Okay. Oh, okay. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> and then Tiana a wrote, A woman would well, naturally wrote, submit to the man that she trusts and will leave. That is fact. Huh? That is fact. What happened? That is fact. I, you know, can that, you see the other comments though? No, that's the only comment I'm seeing. That's crazy. Oh, okay, yeah. I was reading what. But Tiana I read wrote. out the comments. She to said me, I don't believe like that is weak. She said I don't believe this week at all. Hold on. No, I was just reading who what said, she wrote because I can I can see I guess who all said that on my end. Um, Tiana. She said I don't believe that this week at all. I personally am not going to just stay home and raise kids. I can still run my business and take out a lot of time to educate my kids on our people because I agree with that. Stay at home is not going to happen. I care. I care about my community as well. There's things I want to do with that. Yeah, I definitely agree 100% with Tiana. <laughs> there's, there's, there's ways that you can do everything. You don't have to just be one or the other. You can do whatever you want to do. We on that, Tiana. Oh wait, page. I just I just saw the I just saw the Tiana the Wakanda the Wakanda comment. I like that. I, I, I'm holding the phone, but I can't wait. Hold up, let me see if I can. You know, let's go. <laughs> ah. You know, I was wondering if you can see all the comments. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm not paying Gio no mind no more. I'm talking about I can shop from home. I can shop for myself, by the way. But <laughs> no. This is not. I didn't. No. What, is, what, is, your husband? No, I'm not what the hell kind of woman does that? No, that's no, no. I'm not reading that. <laughs> he says a woman will naturally submit to a man that she would trust to lead him. Yeah, I I agree, I agree with, with that. You. If the man can lead, but that has nothing to do with me going out and still doing what I need to do for myself. That's and let me add it. I still put it down to in the me, too, whether I, he's leading uh, the household or not. <laughs> I'm gonna still do me. <laughs> hey, what's, what's up, Anna? What's up? What's up, everybody coming on? We just had all sorts of different conversations now. <laughs> yeah, I know. We we went over the place. I like see. I like and yeah. know is the thing. I like when people are not afraid to challenge the the topic of the conversation because if everybody agreed, then no one grows. The only way you can sharpen the intellect is another sharp intellect. Iron sharpens mm -hmm. iron, and sharp minds sharpen other minds. That's how I like. Yeah, how I look true. at things. Yeah, you know. I agree as well. Theo says, "What, what exactly, exactly do you need to do? Yourself? Who's that question I need to for?" Do me. I need to be. I need to be a, a do what I need to do as far as my career. I'm assuming it's for me. <laughs> I need to still be a career woman. Any man who meets me now knows that I'm about doing that. I'm about you know, doing my media thing, like Tiana says, being able to help, you know, the community. So if he's not able to accept that, then we don't need to be together because it's never going to work. <laughs> he says, sound very fishy. Do me, do me. I'm going to say it about eight more times before I <laughs> sign off. <laughs> I'm going to do me, Gio, just like you can do you. Do oh, you, boo-boo. Do you. <laughs> we do you, that's that. right. Ain't nothing fishy about doing you. <laughs> yeah, he says for her, of course it was for me. He, I don't think he can handle a, a, a career woman, so I'm going to just let him stick with the housewives. That's what he needs, somebody who's just going to just be at home and just Ooh, make sure, right. you know, the kitchen Bye. floor is clean and Bye. all that stuff Bye. like that. Shots so you right. can just have that, and I'll go make the money. How about that? Yeah, I think she's sending shots at you, bro. <laughs> Come on, man. You got <laughs> No, it's just, you know, it's like if I'm a career woman, I'm not going to sit my ass just at home 24-7 and just cook and clean and, and rear the children. Like, that's, to me, that's not even a good example for my children. My children, especially my daughter, needs to see that 
you know, her mom is able to take care of herself as well. I think that's important for a child to see that their mother and their father are both pursuing their goals. So. <laughs> <laughs> now, Fisa says, what if you met this person after you had kids with another? Then what would your choice be, the rich or the less wealthy? Baby Javon, you can answer that. <laughs> Wait, okay. What, okay. What if you met this person? Well, because I do have a kid, so I guess. What if you met this person yeah, after what? you had kids with another? Then what would your choice be? My my choice would be the same thing. I would want like even if you like my idea is that once I if I have a kid and I bring someone <clears throat> like if I bring someone a kid into a, a relationship, no matter what the situation is, mm -hmm. it doesn't change because at the end of the day, my kid once I get married, I don't believe in the term step. If I marry a woman mm -hmm. with kids, I'm that kid's mm -hmm. dad. Not saying I'm more of a dad to that kid's actual dad, but I'm still, I'm the dad of that kid. So whoever I bring to relationship, you know, that is a mother figure to my child. So once I get home and I find somebody, I, my answer would still be the same. I would rather right, them yeah. be, if I had to choose them being away or being home, I'm going to choose home, you know. But yeah. I, you know, to me at the end of the day, I if 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 I had the ultimate choice, I'd rather both. Oh, I Wait, what you just do? <laughs> <laughs> no, I was I was moving up the comments and I clicked on the camera. I'm I'm back. <laughs> oh Lord, yes, my friends, I agree with you as well. GL says taking care of family is the most important and strongest thing a woman can do. Period. I don't necessarily argue with that. I'm just saying my ass won't just be sitting home, you know, making babies either. That's what I'm saying, that I'm going to be out doing other things as well, especially as an example for my child. I can't just be sitting home. I just I can't do it. <laughs> I, mean, I sense a battle of the sexes. I sense a battle of the sexes. You got to make money some type of way. I mean, he always got something to say. So. I don't know, Javon, you like <laughs> this, though. <laughs> Of course. You said nice knees. Yeah, I know I have I have lovely. Let me turn it back so you can see my my beautiful knees. Y'all see I got my <laughs> my pink socks and slippers on. These some sexy knees right here. <laughs> <clears throat> wow, this is definitely it's it's funny, <laughs> like yo, that's nineteen fifty when it's twenty eighteen. <laughs> okay. Here's why I never liked the 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 year mm -hmm. argument when it comes to that because I don't feel like the year mm -hmm. makes a difference when it comes to duty. I think you mm -hmm. have a duty; you should stick stick to your duty. Not saying that in 1950 mm -hmm. they had it right, and in 2018 we got it wrong, or vice versa. I just feel that right. you know whether if you was in 1950, you know 1950 women was on the front lines too. You know what I mean, like. I never so yeah they was like, actually yeah you know women were on the front lines you know protesting and doing all this stuff like if you look right. at all the civil rights movements was started by a woman or by women so <clears throat> yeah they were shout out to you know women's month go ahead I'm sorry <laughs> I gotta finish this poem talking uh, talking about women oh it's god called... now he's He's back to talk about polygamy. Javon, you stirred this up now, this polygamy talk. Listen, people, like, hit, not everybody that's born on this earth is going to believe in monogamy. And I is going to subscribe to that feeling. If a person, I there are I many people. Though. I don't no, necessarily disagree but, with that. Because yeah. here's the thing. A lot of men that no matter what the kind of relationship they have, they have the great woman. They can have a good woman, but they can never last yeah, because they find some way to cheat on their woman. <laughs> Yo, and I'm thinking, like, those people, they might as well just, just find somebody that understand. agrees with them. So we're supposed to know our place now. What is what is our place now? Just to sit home and just stare at the wall? That's my place? So I, I wonder what, what it is that he thinks is the place woman's that. place now. <laughs> Yeah. So okay, so promiscuous woman is not knowing her place. Basically, that's what he's saying. 
So a woman can't be a good woman and still go out and pursue her goals. She just needs to stay home and just, just I'm, watch. You know, like. Hold up. And for me personally, yeah, poly I'm not about that polygamous life. I'm not. I know me. I don't know if you that. are or not. I am oh, yeah, not. Oh, yeah. Y'all all for this. I, no, stuff. I'm not about that life because polygamy means you have to satisfy <laughs> all the women on an equal level. Not just not just sexually, but right, you're talking about true. making sure you're taking care of each woman, their bills, their money, and making sure mm -hmm. each of them you have to treat each wife equally. That's yep. what that's what it is. I am not about that life. Right. I'm not about them. Yeah. Yeah, it's finally something he he, he said that's Makes sense. The of the secret knowledge of wisdom and understanding. <laughs> <laughs> that shit is hard, bruh, bruh. Got, got I got, I, I got one daughter, and I, I'm, yeah. Well, okay. If you don't, if you don't believe in polygamy, if you don't believe Javon, if you don't believe in polygamy, and you don't, let's say, agree with monogamy. Are you saying that oh, it's hold okay on, to hold on, have hold one woman? Don't, don't, don't misrepresent my words. No, I'm just said, saying, I, though, because you're saying I never said, like monogamy I never is said not I don't necessarily... Agree with, here's how I feel. Here's, let me, let me say how I feel. Uh -huh. When it comes to monogamy... What's up, cuz? What's up? For me, for me yeah. to be monogamous in what's any up, Toya? relationship... What's up, Toya? Toya's on, hearing us. <laughs> Go ahead. Praise. What's up? Toya's <laughs> <laughs> oh, snap. Toy, you got to say something because we, we going all over the place now. We've been but, on here, what, an hour now? And we've just been up. going back and forth. Hold, now we're talking hold about... Hold up. I got to I gotta, I gotta represent my point before you got... Okay, yeah. I want you to talk human. about your monogamy. Monogamous for me, point. For, for, me, mm -hmm. for me to be monogamous, I had to mm -hmm. be <laughs> that person. Yeah. Like, I can be in a monogamous relationship and mm -hmm. I have no and one of those things is not connected then I'm gonna want something else that's reality right it's like so <laughs> <laughs> thank you brother thank no, you for standing no, no. up right there <laughs> no he is but, talking and this is my show so I can do what I want to do <laughs> Nah, so, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm that's, not why I say, no so that's how I feel about monogamy right for me. <laughs> but that's how I feel about monogamy for me, for me. But a lot of people don't have an understanding of who they are internally, but yet still they get right. into a monogamous relationship or they get into, they get married without understanding who they are internally. And that's a broken concept. And that's why divorce is at a high rate because a lot of people don't know who they are. They don't have a sense of what they want in life, but yet they fall in love right, with this yeah. promoted idea of finding that perfect true love that they don't take time to, to deal with the love that they lack for on the inside. So that's why I look at monogamy as being overrated, overrated. And then it's very overrated mm -hmm. because everybody wants this beautiful thing called unlove and soul made a soul tie you know even a twin flame they want these things but they're not doing anything internally to make themselves mm -hmm. in a put themselves position wise spiritual and vibration wise attractive enough to get someone that's going to be true for the rest of their life mm -hmm. you know it's too much paradigms for us to think you know everybody said mm -hmm. we want the love our grandparents had that sounds gravy but our grandparents divorced too and so right. the truth is yeah. you just want to find something that's true but you got to be true to yourself yeah. first yeah. and then you got to find somebody that's true to them before you can <laughs> truly be true for each other yeah <laughs> what's up fallen all I, I, I I talk, people are coming in <laughs> and see it, it sure and yeah see, don't be telling the priest so if you're going to tell him, you're not going to tell me to preach. See, that's what I mean. He's, it's, it, dealing with, with an alpha woman is, is hard for some men. See? It's okay. Oh, Latoya is trying to get in. Um, Javon, okay, I think so, I got to stick you out. All right, I'm about to bow out. out. Let Toya talk a, talk a joint. Hey, I'm going to still be on comments and stuff. Anyway, so. <laughs> okay. Anyways, peace out. All right. Thanks for everybody tuning in.
I look forward <laughs> Sorry, to on the next, calling him on the next scholar talk. <laughs> Well, well, we'll see about that. No, I'm just kidding. You can always come on. Of course. <laughs> Let me see. <laughs> what up, you guys? Thank you guys for joining us. What's up, Toya? Yeah. You sleep? That's my best friend. That's my best friend. What's up? Uh, nothing much. I'm, I'm, definitely, I'm not trying to be anybody's prophet, brother. Huh? Gio is mad. I kicked Javon off. It's okay. He mad. Gio, he mad. I kicked Javon off, but it's okay. Oh, Gio. You'll be all right, boo. Gio, like, I'm quite sure you've seen enough of the yeah. man's face. It's time to see some women talk, but on another he note. He sure like, did. But see, that's his partner. That's why. They was trying to gang up on me. That's why. Oh, trying okay. to, but I'm alpha woman. You can't do that, so. Go. Yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Go ahead. This is, a, this is not an alpha woman, by the way, so. Yeah. Go ahead, Latoya. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. No, it's not. Okay, so basically, okay, I'm gonna start off by saying this. Mm -hmm. Um, I agree with some of the mm -hmm. stuff that Javon is saying. That's my brother. I, there's some things I was saying, like mm -hmm. you do have to have love for yourself first and foremost before you want right. to get into relationship yep. with anybody else. Because mm -hmm. when you get into mm -hmm. a relationship with signs, mm -hmm. we tend to want to fill that void that's missing inside mm -hmm. of us. Um. And right. nobody can't fill that void. You know what I'm saying? You'll be mm -hmm. letting yourself down. Everybody has different personalities. Mm -hmm. And to say that um, mm -hmm. you're looking for this perfect love, it will never be perfect. No relationship. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're just jumping in mm -hmm. now or if you're jumping in later. Once you found yourself, you're still not going to have a perfect relationship. You can be good with yourself when you're good with yourself then you'll always be good with somebody else because you'll let them be them and you can be you and then you'll learn how to co compromise in between. Right. But um, yep. I'm just saying it's because um, just being in the state where I'm at um, currently, mm -hmm. <laughs> he said, hello. <laughs> hey, <man>. just, um, <laughs> just oh, man. Man. We not can't get up on nobody. Levine, huh? he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> they say don't don't gang up on Gio. We not even worry about Gio no more. <laughs> oh, no, not at all. I Go ahead, Twain. Gio. You know, shout out to Gio. We ain't got no um, problem. At the same time, <laughs> nah, not at all. All love to Gio. At the same time, <laughs> you know, um, just being married is a sacrifice. It's a commitment, and you have to give yourself yeah. to each other. And, mm. and and you have to respect each other mm. and there are some sacrifices, you know, because you're making this choice to be with someone. Mm. And a lot of times when people get married, um, you get in front of the preacher mm -hmm. and you say for better or worse, but when it get worse, you don't know how to handle it. They be like, oh my goodness, this person's so bad. You better stick mm -hmm. it out, girl, and find a solution because nothing is going to be perfect. You're going to keep running from problem to problem to problem. <laughs> Yeah, you're from right. one problem to another problem. You're looking for instant gratification. Yeah. You're looking for instant happiness all the time. No, only the strongest mm. survive. So you're sitting here looking for this perfect person. You're never going to meet a perfect person. I love yeah. the crap out of my fiance. I love him, but I love me more. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. at the end of the day, you know, he's not my God, but he is the man mm. that I'm choosing to be with. And I just have to put up with it till death. Right. do us part yeah. and that's one thing that people they are finding mm -hmm. it hard to do till death do us part no I made this commitment for God in front of right. God and the Bible does mm -hmm. say and you know there's everybody has their own beliefs or whatever but the Bible does say uh, <laughs> it does say that <laughs> you can get a divorce if adultery is oh, committed uh, but you so, cannot get married a, them. but you Toya you you also got a question for you oh you got sorry. a question for you Oh, but let me finish what I'm saying. I'm going I'm to answer Joseph. Mm -hmm. You can't get a divorce committed, but you can't get married mm -hmm. again because you made that commitment. It's up till death to a yeah. person. So you see these people getting mm -hmm. married to a second wife or a third wife or whatever. No, you're still committed to that mm -hmm. person that you, you married the first time or whatever. You made that commitment till death right. to his part. And it's, moving forward, you shouldn't even make a commitment. You should just say, um... <laughs> I hope yeah. that things will work out. If I hope, case, yeah. You're going to make a commitment in front of God. Mm -hmm. You was like, you know what? I know things aren't going to be perfect, but Lord, please help us get through this. And I hope to stay with mm -hmm. this person because I'm not going to make a commitment and a promise to God and, and claim that I love mm -hmm. God and everything like that. And then I'm when things go sour, mm -hmm. 
I'm going to just go left. You know what I'm saying? Things are going to happen. Mm -hmm. We're born in the world of sin. People are going to make mistakes. Some things might happen. And that's your lot. That's the person you're yeah. supposed to be with. You should have took more time. Like, okay, if this is the person I want to be with, this person has, um, all you want if a person has, has an issue with certain things in there, you don't think that you can get in their life and you yeah. can change them. Now you can help make them a better person. But sometimes. Right, that's a good point sometimes those people might go back to the, the same things they were doing and you just have to right. learn to, you know you got to pray over your marriage and you have to just you know let me go to joseph though i'm yeah. sorry um what did joseph <laughs> say he said what is sorry, marriage joe. to you hey joe marriage to me marriage to me is purpose is god's like it's a it's a purpose it's mm -hmm. anything that i do in life is a purpose for god yeah. the way i choose to carry myself as mm -hmm. a woman like moving forward like I, mm -hmm. forget about my past or whatever because once you know you're accountable once you've read once mm -hmm. you've gotten the word into you, you're accountable there's still some things i'm learning i don't know it all none of us know it all yeah the truth is we, we don't know nothing at all so at the end of the day is I'm mm -hmm. my marriage oh, is right. <laughs> that's uh, and that, no I respect his opinion yeah. Yeah. I, um, yeah. um a marriage is overrated because some people are looking at the glitz and the glam of TV or hey me yeah, and this person look good together yeah. me, me and this person look good right. together we look cute together we gonna make some but yeah y'all can't stand each other y'all can't stand each other y'all not willing to communicate it's always got to be my way or it got, mm -hmm. always got to be his way or something like that. So, you know, mm -hmm. you have to just have good communications because you have to, you have to hone that. You have to hone that because that's something I mm -hmm. had to work. Like I was a little selfish at a certain time in my life. Mm -hmm. And that was some mm -hmm. things that God was working on me within myself because when I was younger, I thought I wanted marriage because I've seen it on TV as I got older. Yeah, and I learned the learn. yeah the Cinderella complex. And as I got yeah. older, I'm like, wow, my purpose is to mm -hmm. bring life into this world, is to bring life into this yeah. world, it, it's, um, it's the act mm -hmm. of forgiving, it's the act of compromising, it's, a, it's really a sacrifice. Mm -hmm. it's, when I'm walking out the door, I represent the person that I'm with, mm -hmm. and he represents me as well, yeah. and, and when you get married, you become one, yeah. so it's just it's not mm -hmm. like, oh, it's just 70 50 no it's just it's we have to give 100 percent into each other just or whatever. Mm -hmm. but just one we are one anything that i'm doing is affecting my relationship with him mm -hmm. i'm a reflection of the person mm -hmm. that i'm with or whatever so that's just um mm -hmm. that's that's how you feel marriage is a contract yeah, that's, it is. How, that's how you feel i can't really some people want it to be a contract mm -hmm. some people said listen i don't want to spend this I yeah they do bills by myself you know, I don't want to pay for these bills by right. myself. If, that, if that's how you want to live your life like that, if you want to live <laughs> your life as having a contract, mm -hmm. then let that be your life. Let that be mm -hmm. your life. Maybe y'all ran into some bad women. Maybe y'all met, met, ran into some bad women over the years, and that's something that you chose mm. in your life. Yeah. That's your contract. Is that, if you want it to be a contract, let it be a contract. If you want it to be, hey, let's look good on the gram, then that's your life. Right, that's yeah. You're supposed to be. That's how you live. As a man thinketh, so is he. So if that's what you're thinking, that's what you're going, you're going to attract in your life. <laughs> you're going to keep running into them same problems. Because you run into yeah. girls who just want you for your money. You run into girls who are not going to respect you, who are not going to be right. yeah. who, not going to be, who don't know how to keep their house clean, who don't know how to cook, who don't know how to do anything. So mm -hmm. what you're reflecting is to your life and sometimes yeah. meant to come into a man's life and be his helpmate and lift him up and vice versa. Mm -hmm. We are to ourselves one to another. But long as I know my part, I'm gonna be blessed mm -hmm. regardless of what, mm -hmm. what I'm supposed to do for him. God's gonna continue to bless me. I'm not worried about what he could do for me because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, I already know I made a good decision. Yeah. He saw after me, I made the decision if I wanted to be with him. Mm -hmm. And I looked at him. Okay, is um how was he no. how's his relationship with God? When I knew he had a good relationship with God, I didn't have to worry about him mm -hmm. looking nowhere. I don't even worry about that because I don't have time. Mm -hmm. I don't have time <laughs> don't have time to worry about where he's looking, but at the end of the day, my man don't go yeah, out to the club. 
my man don't go out to party. Well, he does. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, um, I know. He's been to a party. He's never been to mm -hmm. any club. He goes to work. He goes to church. And that's his thing. And I, I'm not, mm. nothing against any other guy. Nothing against any other guy. But I'm just grateful for the man that God mm. has blessed me. Because, you know yes, what? Yes, me when too. I <laughs> And I yes. to see God put a respectful man into my life. And, and that's yeah. just what it was. I started to, how I started to look at me, he seen somebody who looked at me the same way. And mm -hmm. that's all yeah. you, you focus on, your, you focus on your goals and, and you focus that's on what God, um, God's purpose for your life. And then he will yeah. I was, girl, no, I don't have to. <laughs> well, Tiana wrote something. Your girl on here, Tiana. <laughs> Tiana. That's right, Tiana. Said, who's she at? Let Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I'm really proud of you. I know. She's doing She's doing so much, too. Yeah. I'm proud of my kids. I see her ministry, how Thank she's you. helping um, the homeless. I'm just so proud of yeah. you. And that's the one thing. A lot of people are walking around angry. Yeah. Practicing because you're just an angry person. Right. You're an angry person. Yeah. And and that's just and not you know mm -hmm. may God you know create you a clean heart, Javon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> like you know, Javon. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for coming on. We have some more viewers and stuff. We just on here just talking about all different things. You no know, life, marriage, love. That's, oh, there go Camilla. I'm going to surprise me. Yeah. <laughs> like girl. Yeah. <laughs> I, so too. I thought it was only yes. okay. Tatiana. Yeah, this is really not a special her best friend. That's right. And that's how it should be. Your husband should be your best friend. Yes. Yeah, Sean is my best but friend. Well, except except for me. You know, you gotta remember I'm here too. <laughs> my best friend, you know I like Don't you. forget about me. Oh girl, wow. <laughs> No, but you know God is good, and not and the more we yes, He is, and it's not even about just mm -hmm. man alone. It's just about serving a purpose. Mm -hmm. Glad to be with somebody yeah. else to wake up and pray with. You know that yes. um, it's I don't know. It's just it's very different. My life mm -hmm. is very different. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful, and I'm more focused, mm -hmm. and and I'm just you know mm -hmm. my goal right now is just to see what God needs me to do next. How I can be more available. Mm -hmm. Uh, some people they want to live out this whole fairy tale and and live like TV and everything like that. Like that. right, they're they watching like you said what they see on Instagram and all that stuff. They don't understand like these people behind the picture. Yeah. Actually, they're all human. They have issues and stuff Humans, like that. Yeah. Matter if that's what they want to portray and put it online, let that be their business. Like that's their life. Right. Or, you mm -hmm. know. It's like, yes. But how are you? I'm so glad that you're you know up posting. I'm just <laughs> Proud of you. I just wanted to. I'm, I'm blessed, you know. I, I'm always, you know, I'm always, even when I'm feeling like I'm down and out, I always try to have some type of positive outlook. And I appreciate you guys, even Gio, his his hot mess, <laughs> even wow. his perspective. You know, it's important <laughs> to have. <laughs> he gonna give me after that, but it's important to have different perspectives in life too, because you need somebody who's gonna make you think about something else a different way. So I appreciate, you know, all y'all, you know, everybody that came on tonight. I know you kicked Javon off earlier, but he has some good points, too. No, Javon had a, a lot of good points. Javon had a lot of good points. Uh, you know, that's my brother, so mm. I'm going to bother him. You know, we go back and forth. Of course. He, she, he knows you're going to get him, so. Yeah, we have, because they try to get on you. But <laughs> they try to go back. They, they try to, but they can't do it. No, I told them, this is, that's the scholar girl. You can't, you can't put me down, boy. I'm glad that you're getting back and seeing <laughs> No, but I seen them trying to get, um, gang up on you. I don't know what you is, John. Don't be telling him that. Go ahead. I'm sorry, Toya. No, no, it's fine. <laughs> yeah, Geo is funny. Geo is. <laughs> <The best. laughs> you know, like I'm just grateful. Oh, God. Now Javon's back on this polygamy stuff. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. I'm going to so I can have y'all a little succular talk, but uh, yeah. I'm about to sign off too because I gotta finish. I'm supposed to be baking my um my fish and stuff tonight, and I'm on here talking to you guys and stuff. Yeah, so, um, Mom <laughs> was not doing his damn thing, boy. See, this is what it's time for me to sign off. Yeah, it's time for me to go too because you. <laughs> it's time for us to go now because they're starting to think they did something. They ain't do nothing tonight. 
We let them have the light tonight. <laughs> <laughs> what's up? What's up? My aunt is on tonight watching as well. Yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of my friends. Show. Yeah, this was this was a good one. So I appreciate all you guys. I really do. And Geo too, to an extent. This I like this. I like this app, whatever, but you are doing this again. I know. Um doing what you're doing, Kwai. You know, I love you. My best friend. I'll see her. For your king. No, I am the queen of my house. That's what I'm fixing for the queen. And I know my place. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Oh, let me yeah. let me get my ass on so I can so I can cook for the queen of the house, not the king, the queen. <laughs> Thank you, you guys. Yeah, I appreciate all you guys. Like I said, for coming on, this was great. And I'm gonna go finish eating. Like I said, for the queen of the house until the king comes, and I'm gonna be holding it down. <laughs> all right, you guys. Have a good night.